it's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. It's Wednesday morning. Another day, another appointment. Oh, I actually think, though, this could possibly be my last appointment for a little bit. Fingers crossed. That would tell more appointments. I've had enough since bloody Christmas. Right, so we're going back to fetch my glasses. I know a lot of you have messaged me and like said, what's happening with your glasses? So they've had them for another two and a half weeks, and I've got to pick them up today. Um, I feel sick. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to see through them. And if I can't see through them, what on earth happens next? It's like I'm crap at complaining. Um, and the whole thing is just making me feel ill. Um, so we've just got to go and fetch them and see what happens. I really hope I can see out them. I'm absolutely dreading it. So to make matters worse, it's absolutely pouring down. And it's going to rain all day. It's wet. It's windy. And it's absolutely vile. My husband woke me up at Arpa 6 when he went to work. My poor husband's got to go out to Scotland. I think he's going up to... Is it air where the seaside bit is? Um... It's about six hours away or something. He's gone on the train and he's got to come back in a car. Um, so he's not about to about eight o'clock tonight. And look at the weather. It's horrible. We just want to stay in bed. So I got woke up at half six, couldn't get back to sleep. So I've been awake since half six. It's about eight o'clock now. So James took me over to the bus stop. So I've not actually been outside yet, but it's not nice out there. Good morning, Pat Peggy, me. Bubba, how are your mental health doing okay? Just remember, as my mum says, one day at a time. So today I will tackle my glasses and hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Right, calendar of the day, 21st of February already. <gasps> I'm stronger than I think. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I don't need to say anything else, do I? I'm stronger than I think. Remember it. So lovely Lorraine's magic. We've got, uh, what have we got? Dazzle them with your divine self. There you go. I'm going to dazzle everybody in the glasses shop. <laughs> right, older, wiser, sexier. We've got... Um, take my advice and never drink water. I've seen what it does to the bottom of boats. <laughs> Although I've been drinking a lot of water yesterday to fill me up. And it does make you feel better. So, happy Wednesday. Right, breakfast. So, it's quarter to nine. So, we need to get going soon. So, breakfast this morning, I've got 30 grams of cornflakes. Right. The only person that's come for a cornflake is you. So, you can have the biggest one. Right, there you go. Oh, it's fell in two. It's your lucky day. Is that nice? I don't know where your friends are. They didn't come. Lipstick of the day. Here we are. I'm very tired. My little crow's feet around my eyes. <laughs> uh, right, so lipstick of the day today is Avon 16 hour Power Stay Lip Colour in Can't Quit Cafe. Yay! Uh, I thought we'd go for something neutral. I think it's a bit early for bright red. Although I'm dying to wear a bright red lipstick, but it's a bit early. I've got my little sheepy jumper on. And we really need to get going, but it's absolutely vile out there. <laughs> I don't want to go. Right, I'm ready to go. Um, I don't know how wet we're going to get. <laughs> I've put this coat on. I don't know if I should have put it on or not. But the other coats are quite big and like fluffy and stuff. And I think oh, this is half. Well, it's not waterproof. But I don't think it'll get too wet if I've got an umbrella. <laughs> Let's go. Right, we've made it into the car. It's chucking it down. Percy, please don't break down. <laughs> I really don't want it to break down. I'm so paranoid after Bert keeps breaking and obviously Percy's is quite a lot older. I'm like, please don't break down. Right, so it's about 40 minutes away. I've got two umbrellas here, I think. Yeah, I've got this rainbow one, which is absolutely gorgeous, but it's a nightmare to put up and down. It's quite big to carry, but then it will keep me dry. Oh, what a day. Let's go. Well, I've made it, but I'm so early. <laughs> I can't believe I'm so early. So my appointment's half past 10, it's 9.35. I don't even know how I got here so fast. I suppose because it's such an awful day, not a lot of people have come out, so I didn't get stuck in any traffic or anything, but oh, ginormous puddles, and the puddles had the pothole, so I've like gripped my steering wheel all the way here. It's been so scary. I didn't want to hit a massive pothole, so we need to get a ticket now and have a little potter around before we go for our appointment at half past 10. My anxiety is like really high. I really don't want to go. My legs feel wobbly. I'm like, oh. Oh, deep breath, Janie. Right, come on, let's go.
look all these cute little points in it. That's why I always show you. Please keep your eye doing it. What did you put it down to? Is it nine fifty? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Birthday. Tums and Mark. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my Oh, right, I'm back in the car. What a horrible day. So I've got my glasses. I looked through them in the shop. They didn't look too bad. Um, but I might have to try and get used to them as well. But they didn't make me feel too bad, I don't think. But I won't know till I sort of get home and stuff. So she was very kind to me. Um, so I've got some drinks, stuff from Iceland. Um, I bought some cards and stuff. And oh, nothing exciting, but I seem to be carrying loads of bags. Anyway, so it's now uh, five to one. So we're not doing too bad time. So we'll make our way home. I've got a little ham cob to have. Uh, let's go home. <laughs> and this is what you have waiting for you when you get home. Ah! <laughs> Are you okay? Nobody else 
Josh really cares. You're the only one that really loves me. Oh, oh, you do give me a lovely welcome when I come home. <laughs> Here's my glasses. They're better than they were. I still don't know if they're right. I think the fact that you have to get used to them a little bit. So they've said they've put me like an extra bit in the bottom so that when I look down at writing, I can see it a bit clearer, but it's only a very mild bit, so I shouldn't be able to tell the difference. Um, I don't think they feel too bad at the minute, but I just, I don't know, you know, when something's different, it feels funny. I just keep looking at everything. She told me to try them in the morning. She's like, because your brain's sort of fresh in the morning. So... I should really put them on in the morning, but I just wanted to give them a chance now. I don't know. The right one feels right. It's the left one that seems to always be throwing me off somehow, and I don't know why. Right, what did we buy? I didn't really buy that much. Um, I've got all my cards, like Mother Day cards. It's my son's birthday soon, so I've got him a card and stuff. Um, I got my favourite magazine. I'm so excited because this is like the fashion issue. I love the fashion issue. Um, I bought this for my mum because she needs to colour her hair again, but she said she can't be bothered. So I said, well, I've seen this like pink spray. I don't know what it'll be like, but I treat my mum to some of that. And then Ruby gets really greasy hair, as teenagers do. And I saw this avatar, I don't know if it was in a magazine or something the other day. Um, and it was on offer in Superdrug, so I thought we'll give it a try. We tried the Avon one, but it didn't do much. Um, tried loads of different ones, but I think it's just her age, but we'll give it a go. Uh, dry shampoo, every girl's favourite uh, best friend. And I bought the oversized Vi Viola? Viola jacket. Um, couldn't make my mind up if I liked it or not, but I thought it'd be one of them things that when I get home, I probably wish that I'd bought it. It's 100% virgin wool, so it should be really warm. Um, obviously, it's a bit big for me, but I like it oversized, and it's got so much detail. Look at the stitching on the pockets. Um, the little buttons are really nice, and I know when it was new, it would have been an awful lot of money, um, and it's got all the stitching up the little lapels as well. Um, it's got a tiny little mark there, but that's nothing. Um, yeah. I don't know whether I love it or not, but I really, I just like the colour and stuff, and I like the oversizedness. And I bought this. Dun, 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 dun. How could I not have bought this? I bought it must have been for his birthday to remind him of me. I think I need to stick some false eyelashes on it and maybe make it sunglasses. Um, and I want to get him something nice for his birthday, and I thought maybe a watch or something so I can like put it around its neck or something. <laughs> or I might just cover it in scratch cards or lottery tickets or something. But I couldn't resist it when I saw it. It actually made me laugh. Look at it. It's so funny. It was £2 and this is what I'm going to base his birthday on. And it made me laugh far too much. Right, boring cards. We've got a wash up, um, dishwasher. We've got to go to my neighbours to take the paper and some E45 clean that I fetched for her. And we've got about an hour until school run. Right, so my husband picked some stuff up last night from my mum's house and she sent me some magazines and stuff and I, we always swap magazines and then I end up giving them to my neighbour. So my neighbour loves Vogue, so I've got a Vogue magazine for her as well. My mum found this in one of her, mag in one of her books. It's from 1997 and she'd cut it out because she found it interesting. It was about a wi window on a wheel where time stood still and this lady had not changed anything in her house at all from years and years and years ago. And I think they made it into a museum. But the fact that, like, even this is really old. So this is from 1997. So gosh knows how long that, how long ago that was. But yeah, it's so sweet. Bless her. Right, off we go to neighbours again. So I've put my old glasses back on. I think some bits I can see clearer through my new ones. So I think I just need to try and get my head used to it. So I'm going to wake up tomorrow and put them on fresh, I think. Right, I've made it home, but now I need to go on bus school run. Look at them all watching me. <laughs> right, I won't be long. Oh, so I'm sat in the car waiting for Ruby, and I've just been reading some of my comments from yesterday's video. <clears throat> and Helen, I'm so sorry to read about your mum. Oh, honestly, I'm so, so sorry. Losing your mum, I think, is one of the worst things that can ever happen in life. Obviously, I lost my dad, so I half know how you feel. And it's just heartbreaking. I just want to send you a massive hug. I know quite a few people have already replied to your comment as well. And, oh, we're all here for you, my darling. Don't ever feel you're alone because we're only a little message away. 
I know it's only a YouTube channel, but we do care. So massive, massive, massive hugs to Helen. I think we should all put some heart comments down below to let her know that we're thinking about her. So lots of love, Helen, and lots of hearts for you and your dear mum. Ah, oh, right, we're home. So it's quarter four, the kettle is on. Ooh, shall we share your secret, Dolly, as well? What have you done? Dolly had some breakfast left in a bowl and she's buried it underneath a pea mat. And she's very proud of herself. <laughs> have you buried your dinner? Your breakfast, sorry. Have you buried your breakfast? Can't you even see it? It's so clever. I could hear it rustling about. I thought, what on earth is it doing? <laughs> buried it. It's in that corner. You are funny. Hmm, I'm waiting for my tea to cook. How many dogs can you fit in a bed? <laughs> Finally, dinner time. So I've got McCain lighter chips. Uh, I've got 200 grams of those. Young's lighter fish and some broccoli and some runa beans. A tiny bit of mozzarella. So I've got 10 grams of mozzarella melted over my chips and a little blob of very low fat mayonnaise. Hope this inspires somebody. It's absolutely delicious. Off to enjoy it. My tea is delicious. I've had instructions from Ruby. I need to show you the sky. Look at that. It. Wow. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Look how orange it is. I know, I just looked out my window and I was like, wow. Yeah, wow. We're still looking at the sky. <laughs> We're just laughing because a minute ago that solar light came on. That one. Then that one came on. And in a minute that one will come on. Magic. They just go poof and then they come on like little flames. It's very magical. It's feeding time! Woohoo! Right. Parents? No, 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 no. I know, yeah. Ooh, lovely jubbly. Ready for it? Right, ready? Go! Go, 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 go. <laughs> we are clever. There you go. Right, my dears. I'm going to love you and leave you. Otherwise, this video will be far too long. So, many thanks for being there with me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously, we did have a good look around the trash shops. We've been shopping in the rain. Um, it was nice to get out. And I have to say, it wasn't very busy because of the rain. So, it was quite nice, really. Uh, trash shops weren't that exciting, but... I don't really need anything anyway, so I got my jacket, that was enough. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life with its ups and downs, then please subscribe to our channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got Instagram, which is three fluffles. My little website is down below, and my little Avon shop is down below. It's all down below. So I love you and leave you. I'll see you tomorrow. I can't believe it's Thursday already tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye! And don't forget all the hearts. See you tomorrow.